This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I want to illustrate one of the plugins that we talked about. This is a very cool Stupid Raisins title. It's called Logo Pop. You can learn more at stupidraisins.com. It's $99, includes a free trial, and supports Final Cut 10. This generates animated logos from existing logos. There are 25 different effects. You can work with any logo, though some work better than others, as you'll see in a minute. And it, too, requires FX Factory. Let me show you how Logo Pop works. Okay, here I've got a background that ships with Final Cut. It's the Glimmer background. And I've got four logo pops here. So if we go to Beams, I'm going to drag this. Notice how my logo flies in. It's been given an extruded shadow, gives us a 3D look, jumps in place with, wow, all the glory of the light shining around it. Or we've got a comet. We have this comet fizz in, it explodes, and there is the logo with motion blur applied. Or we've got this box logo where it's, it's pasted on the side of a moving box. We'll see more of that in just a second. One of my favorites is the splatter logo where the logo comes in and it flies against this splatter background. Well, let's take a look at how this works by going to the box logo. Select it. And now when I go up to the inspector, we see what's called a graphics well. That's what this is. I'm going to right mouse click in it or just click the X and clear it out. And now we've got no logo associated with this. How do we add it? Well, let me show our media collection here. By the way, you can toggle on and off the library list by clicking this icon right here. It makes the library list appear or disappear. My favorite keyboard shortcut, which we'll learn in just a minute, is Control Command 1, Control Command 1, which makes the whole browser disappear. Library list and browser are both gone. Control Command 1 toggles that on and off. This is a logo that I created inside Photoshop and I've dropped it into Photoshop and I exported it as a layered Photoshop where the text is opaque and the background, which is black, is transparent. So the way that I add this logo, this is a PSD file created in Photoshop. So I'm bringing the PSD file in, select it, click in the graphics well. It says, what picture do I want to add? Click my logo. Then be sure to click Apply Clip, otherwise Final Cut starts to act strange, and it's now applied my logo to that box. Well, we can do better than that, so let's just zoom this a bit. Zoom is a 3D move, and Scale is a 2D move. So I've now got that added to the box. So as it flies in, there's the box rotating, and there's the logo on the side of the box. But what's this? Well, the box has got more than one side, and so does this graphic. If I scroll down, we've got background colors. That's the gradient for the background. Notice it's shades of pink. Notice that I've got side one. So I click in the graphics well click on my logo or any other shape. In fact, I'm going to click on this. Click and select that clip. So now I've put this iceberg clip in here. You could put another logo in as far as the effect is concerned. It's spinning around. So let's just render that. Control R. Now, think about this. You've got a client standing over your shoulder screaming, saying, I absolutely positively have to have this logo done in about a minute and a half. What can you do? Well, you can't drop it to motion. You can't drop it to After Effects. There isn't enough time. So having this animated logo pool of effects available for you, you can say to the client, not a problem. Let's just take a look at a couple different things. So here's the box playing back in real time. And that side right there is, well, let's just put the logo on that. 
scroll down, side one, click inside the gravity well, click on the logo, apply the clip, and now, again, render, control, R. And the cool thing is, here, you can have this thing applied and done and out the door in two or three minutes before you even have After Effects or Motion Finish booting up. Now we've got lots of options. I like this box idea because it's kind of appeals to the geometricist in me, but let's play this back. Come on, hurry up, people are watching. And go. Ta-da! Let's see what else can we do. We can change background, we can change side one, we can change side two, we can add flares. We can add drop shadows to the logo. What are the logos? Oh, this the paint spatter is just so cool. Let's just, while I'm looking here, let's render that in the background. We've got um, logo pop. We have a badge. We've got the beams, which we've seen. We've got bokeh gone mad. Uh, we've got circles. Uh, circuits. This comet. Let's see, we've got flybys and ghosts, a hand putting the logo on, a hinge. You can start to see just how many you've got, and we've got control over things like color and other stuff. Let's just render this. Okay, now watch this. This is splatter. Ta-da! Select it. We've got the logo. We can control the splatter. We can control the color of the splatters, the background, whether it's a gradient or whether it's a solid color, drop shadows on the logo, simple style controls, animated backgrounds, animated logos. The product is Logopop, and the company is Stupid Raisins. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz/store and look for webinar 146. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.